No cloud key, no problem. All you need is this little device, and this is called the Raspberry Pi. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how you can turn a Raspberry Pi into a device where you can manage your Unify devices. So if you don't have a cloud key, as I said, there's no problem. Along with the Raspberry Pi, you can install the Unify controller software on multiple devices, such as somewhere in the cloud, whether it be local or public, and even your local machine. So I'm not gonna to say too much more about this. Let's jump in and I'll show you how it's done. I already have my Raspberry Pi set up. If you do wanna see me go through and configure a Raspberry Pi, uh, leave me a comment in the section below and I'll happily put something together um, to put out on my channel. So for now, we're gonna log into the Raspberry Pi so we can just start, I've opened up a terminal session, we can just go pi at 10.1.1.184. Uh, I know that's the IP of it. Uh, we can type in the password. And there we go, we're now in. So once we've logged in, if you need to make any settings, changes, etc., etc., um, you can probably give something a static IP. Um, it might work a little bit better. However, for the purposes of this demo, I'm not going to be setting one because um, as it's not going to be my main Unified Network controller. First thing I'm going to start by doing is updating my Raspberry Pi. So we can just type in sudo apt update and that will go off and run a quick update. So we'll leave that for a second. So we're going to go ahead and run another update. So we're going to type in sudo apt upgrade and we'll let that go off and do what it needs to do. And we want to click yes, we want to continue, so we'll just do that. Okay, and that is now complete. So the next thing we need to do is to install Java on our Raspberry Pi. Um, the reason we need that is for the Unify controller software. So to do that, what we need to type in is sudo apt uh, install uh, open jdk hyphen eight hyphen jre hyphen headless. And we press enter and we'll let that go off and run that. Um, we just wanna click yes, we're happy with that and that will go off and do that okay so that is now installed so the next thing we need to install is something called RNG tools uh, this helps basically speed up the interface and how it runs so to install that you just type in sudo apt uh, install if I can spell that right install RNG tools and we can let that go off and run as well oh that didn't take long okay so it's already uh, it looks like it's already installed with the newest version which is great now we need to edit a specific file within this so we can just type in um, sudo nano uh, backslash etc backslash defaults backslash rng tools and that should open up the file and then we want to find so that was uh, slightly wrong so we actually need to do it's actually default not defaults and there we go so we need to find a specific line which is this one and we want to uncomment this um, and that's it really so once we've uncommented that, we just wanna press Control X and then Y. We wanna save it and just press Enter. And there we go, that's saved. And then we need to restart the service just to make sure all the new configuration is picked up. So we can go to sudo system control ctl and then restart, uh, restart rng hyphen tools. I can type today RNG hyphen tool so that's going to go off and restart the service to make sure it picks up the new configuration so a few more commands we need to run to um, 
get this set up. So the first one I'm going to paste in, um, I will leave these in the description because they are quite long to type out. So we'll go ahead and run this. What this is basically doing is adding Unify to our repository list. So we'll go ahead and press enter. So that's that first one done. We then need to run this one, which will go ahead and run. And then that's going to download it. So that's there. And then as we made changes, you could just run this straight away, but as we made some changes, we're just going to go sudo apt update, and that will just update the repository list. We'll let that go off and run. Hopefully it shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds. There we go. So that's that one done. Um, and then literally it is a case of sudo apt uh, install unify. And um, that will go off and install. So it's going to take up 322 mega space. That's fine. We can press yes. And we will let that go off and run and come back once it's installed. Okay, um, now that that has installed, what I'm going to quickly do is bring up a web browser window here. And then what we're going to type in is https colon forward slash 10.1.1.184 colon 8.8443. That is the IP of the Raspberry Pi and the IP address we need to connect to. So it's going to come up with a certificate error, which is fine. You can just proceed with this one. This is no problem. And there we go. That is as simple as that. We have a Raspberry Pi set up. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can um, see what's going on here. So let's type in IW Unify Network. And at this point, if you do have a backup, you can restore from the backup just to make this run as your Unify Network controller. We click next. We can type in our Ubiquity account. So I'm just going to sign in here. Two step verification setup. So let's quickly do that. Okay. And then we can do automatically optimize my network. You can leave that ticked or enable backup. Um, again, I'm just running through this for the sake of demonstration. I'm not going to actually have this running. Um, so, Wi Fi name, IW Wi Fi test, password. Okay. There we go. Uh, we can combine the network. That's fine. Click next. Uh, that's everything set up. So, we click finish and it's going to go ahead and configure our Unify controller. There we go, so that's that set up, so you can send your data to Ubiquity, and that is it, so everything in here we have set up, so I'm just going to go to settings, um, I don't need this at the moment, but it already has the Wi-Fi you've just set up, so uh, I think I need to go to maintenance is what I was looking for, and you can see here we're running 6043 which is the latest stable version so yeah I mean and then you can actually start going out and discovering your devices so currently you can't see anything I do have some devices on my network but they're adopted by something else so when you do eventually adopt your devices they will be shown in here I hope you found this video useful and easy to do. Now, if you don't want to purchase a cloud key at this point, you don't have to. You can use a device that you have at home or using a Raspberry Pi to do this. Let me know in the comments below if you found this useful. Remember to subscribe, like and share. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.